Hey y'all, welcome back to GM Outdoors. Hope everybody's having a great week so far. Uh, so we got off work a couple hours ago and uh, went home, changed clothes, got a little something to eat, and now we're heading out to uh, a little section of the Powell River. We're gonna do some fishing. I got the kayak back there loaded up in the back of the truck. Uh, we're gonna do some fishing. Uh, gonna paddle up river and then float back and uh, see what's biting in there this evening. So hopefully we'll catch something. Got the kayak with me and uh, you know, there's a nice little boat ramp here up underneath the bridge and like I said we're going to paddle up river and float back and see what we can catch so uh, come along with me here and I uh, hope you enjoy the video gonna work. Let's see here. Let me set you down down there for just a minute. See how graceful I can make this look. Oh good. Alright, we're almost in. Alrighty, we're floating now. You can only make it look so pretty. Whew. Okay, let me put you in my phone mount now. Alright, well we made it in here now. Shoo lordy. 
pretty as I made that look here. Well, I tell you, this, uh, this camera angle ain't doing me no favors. <laughs> oh, well. Let's go up there and see if we can catch any fish now. Man, how beautiful is this? It has been so long since I floated the river, you know. Got that pontoon boat and just started doing all that and never really getting back out here. And um, what really got it started was, uh, you know, I love fishing. I just never got time to do it. And uh, uh, anyhow, I got this new kayak the other day. I've had a sun dolphin and a patriot, a set in. And this is my first set on top kayak with the actual folding chair. Oh man, I absolutely love this kayak. And it is so comfortable. I am seeing all kinds of minners in here. Yeah, holy cow. Whoa. What a beautiful day, beautiful evening. Didn't have to drive too far to get here. Just really nice. Really nice back through here. So, got me some rooster tails and some trout magnets. So we're going to try to catch anything that's biting in here today. So hopefully we can get a hold of something in here. I don't care what it is. <laughs> yeah. It probably ain't but about three foot, four foot deep in here for the most part. Yeah. But uh, anyhow, on this camera angle here, I got it on my little tripod deal there. I had bought a, I've got a ram mount too, but oh, I'm kind of digging this, uh, this deal here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let me show you this too. Uh -oh. If I can get a hold of it. Get you all that sunlight there. Yeah, there we go. So. You know, uh, GoPro makes like those body mounts where you got the strap over and the camera goes right here and it gets that strap across you. I don't like those. I've got several of them. And I found this right here. Uh, it's a silicone pliable kind of deal. And uh, it's by Teleson off Amazon. They're not sponsored me or anything like that. I bought this. Um, and it kind of gives you a point of view deal there. You'll push a button here on the back of it. And it comes apart like that. You put it around your neck click it in kind of stretch it to form your neck a little bit form the collarbone and everything and uh, you can put your phone right there that way I can give you a point of view of what I'm seeing while I'm a fishing here so let's go ahead and start fishing a little bit and I'll put you on this camera angle all right so now we're in about uh, let's see Probably in about five foot of water here, maybe four foot. And the water's down a little bit too. Water's still cold too, so we'll see. Good and still water. Go ahead and get us a fishing pole out here and see what we can get hold of. Paddle upstream some more here. I <clears throat> just want to see. I was just excited to get out there and start fishing a little bit.
Anyhow, so this is the uh, this is the Lifetime Tamarack Pro 103. It's a 10 foot 3 inch kayak. Uh, my first sit on top. I've got three. Well, this makes my third one. I've got uh, a Sun Dolphin 12 footer fishing one, and then my wife's got a Patriot, a 10 foot. Uh, they're both sit in, and this is my first sit on top of kayak with that fold chair, like a little stadium chair. And I'm telling you right now, I will never go back to a sit in ever again. I love this kayak right here. Man, we're in about two inches, three inches of water here. Got to dodge this rock right quick here. But uh, anyhow, I love this kayak. It is super comfortable, perfect. Got all, there it goes. Got all kinds of room in it. Um, they say you can stand up in it, but I'm I've not tried it yet. <laughs> so uh, I'll probably try it uh, in my swimming pool or something. <laughs> Because I'm not, I'm not going to sit out here and lose all my stuff, you know. So, uh, but anyway, uh, I love this kayak. It's really nice, really comfortable, very easy to maneuver, and it only weighs, it only weighs 55 pounds, I believe. So, uh, super easy to, to just carry it and move it around. Uh, and it holds, what does it hold? 300 and 300 pounds. It holds 300 pounds. Yeah, that's for you and your equipment, whatever gear you bring with you. So. Oh, Lordy, but uh, anyhow, I am just so tickled to death I'm out here this evening doing a little fishing. I hope I can catch something. Uh, this makes my second time having this kayak out. We took it, me and my wife went to Kiyoki Lake the other evening, and uh, we paddled around, and I tried doing some fishing out there. didn't catch nothing, though. There was several people on the lake that was out there fishing and didn't catch anything. Um, the water was really cold, too, so I didn't see anybody catching no fish. There was, let's see, it was last Sunday we was out there. Beautiful day, but it just the water was ice cold, and uh, this water here is a little cold. But the water was ice cold, and it just wasn't no fish. There just wasn't no fish in there. It seemed like nothing wanting to bite. Uh, so hopefully I can catch me something today here. But uh, anyhow, you don't realize how much you you don't talk when you're fishing uh, until you try talking while you're fishing. Because <laughs> I was catching myself a minute ago. You know, I I had. Uh, recorded like 15 minutes on there and I was just quiet I didn't say anything at all you know I, <laughs> I probably need to say something to talk to y'all because because <laughs> I know that makes for a boring video you know uh so anyhow <laughs> yeah you don't realize how much how quiet you are just concentrating listen to your line because I always see these guys I watch t uh fishing on tv all the time and I always see these guys on there you know these professional fishermen they're talking and stuff and they kind of get they get quiet and then they say some weird stuff because they're they're just concentrating and uh i can definitely see why this is my first time recording myself doing any kind of fishing or anything so uh, i can definitely see why it would be <laughs> it would be hard to do that <laughs> but uh anyhow i hope we can catch us a fish here anything i don't care what do so but yeah I'm wanting to, um, one day I'm wanting to float, uh, me and my wife, well there's a couple of buddies my works too wanting to go float the river. I would love to do like a, a overnight, a two day river float and camp halfway through it. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. So, uh, I'm definitely going to, I'm going to try to do that, um, sometime soon. Sometime soon this summer, hopefully, so we'll see how it works out. But, uh, anyhow, we're going to try to go to, uh, we're going to try to go to the lake this coming weekend. Uh, so I'm probably going to make a video of that, too. Uh, spoiler alert, be my next video. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try to go to the lake this weekend, and, oop, did I get back? Oh, nope, dad, burn it. Got hung up on a log or something there. Uh, but uh, I'm going to try to go to the lake this weekend and uh, go to Norris Lake. It'll be the first time out this year. I've been so tempted to go um, to the lake, but I just know that it's going to be, first off, the water is going to be iceberg cold. I think it's like 70 degree water, which may as well be 20 to me. Um, but uh, I'm going to try to go to the lake this weekend. And We had a couple pretty days uh, last week. Last weekend, we had Sunday, which me and my wife decided to go kayaking that day because I got this kayak and I want to try it out. 
but uh, I know that the lake's down. It's controlled by a dam, and um, they drain it like 70 foot uh, every year, and then they fill it back up, which it's usually already at full pool filled up by now, but it's not. And um, when they do that, all the trash, all the trees, the docks, everything you can think of, um, everything you can think of uh, is floating out in the middle of the lake, everything, so because it's piled up on the sides. And uh, once it gets full pull and gets over with, then, then it gets pretty. Uh, and all that stuff gets knocked off to the sides again. The wind blows it left and right. See, look at me right now. I'm trying to fish talking. The wind blows it to the banks of the, on the shores of around the whole lake, and it keeps the, keeps it out there, and you can go up. Did I get one? Oh, man. I thought I got one. I must be getting hung up on a log or something. But, uh, anyhow. <laughs> I'm trying to dive. I hope this is making sense, what I'm saying. I don't feel like it is. <laughs> but, so, we're going to try to go to the lake this week. That'd be the first time out this year, and I cannot wait to get that lake, get it back on the lake, man. Her, uh, <clears throat> my wife's friend <clears throat> has a camper, or her... My wife has access to a camper. My wife's friend has my wife's friend has access to a camper down there on the lake. So we're gonna try to stay in it uh, over the over the Memorial Day weekend. There, we're gonna stay one night down there. And I am just so excited to get down there and see it and everything. It's got its own boat dock there. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. I can't wait can't wait man I tell you that log I probably got hung up on that log three or four times right here. I just ain't seeing nothing in here crazy I tell you, I just love being on the water. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. Just getting out and enjoying the scenery. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself when I don't catch a fish today. <laughs> yeah. Just like it's all about getting out. Which it is. It is all about getting out. Man, look at all these little fish. Little bitty babies. Where's your mommies and daddies at? Oh, that one. What'd I get? Let's see what, oh, a gar? I caught a gar? Are you kidding me? Holy cow, I just caught, he jumped off. Big old gar in here. I never would have thought that was over there. Lord have mercy. Big old gar. Huh. I'm glad he popped off there. I didn't want to have to deal with them teeth. I can tell you that right now. Believe that. No wonder it's probably nothing there. I'd say that guard's been eating everything. Bag on it. Wish I'd have got that on camera. Now you're gonna think I'm lying to you. <laughs> right there's my makeshift uh my makeshift camera stand for right now. I know where's my ram mount, which I've got another ram mount extension I ordered, so it should be here soon, and then we'll use it. But uh, for now, this is working pretty good. It's just a fishing pole holder, and my telescoping uh, tripod there. Folded that and put it in there. Works pretty good so far. Yep, gets the job done anyway, don't it? So, anyhow. 
get over there and see if we can't catch something on a, on a little trout magnet deal here. In case you don't know what a trout magnet is, mag magnet is and there's that little fella right there. I'll sling him over where that gar was at and see if there's anything else living on the water. I doubt it. I'd say that gar's probably ate up a bunch of stuff in here. Get a better catch than that. Probably gonna try switching to a little topwater deal here or something. I'll put a Ned rig on there. See if I can catch anything that way. I just really like these trout magnets. Seems like I always catch something on them, but I've just not had any luck today. Oh, I got one. Got a fish. Finally. Thank goodness. Oh, he come off. Daggone it, man. Oh, man. Dang it. Dang it, man. Oh, I was so happy about that. Didn't set the hook good enough, I guess. Wow, it's a beautiful little mowed off place right here. Nice little area right there. Be good looking, be good place to camp. I don't see any posted signs where it's no trespassing or anything. Huh. Really nice place. Alrighty y'all, so sorry I couldn't uh, film the rest of that. Um, I ran out of storage on my phone. I've got an SD card in there, but uh, everything I record saves to my internal storage for some reason, and I, I'm trying to figure out how to switch it, but uh, anyhow, I've got some other videos saved on there that I need to get rid of and put on my external hard drive, uh, so I ran out of space, but anyhow, we got skunked out. Didn't catch no fish this time, but uh, so we're going to chalk it up to all getting out and having a good time, right? So uh, it wasn't for nothing. So anyhow, um, got a couple bites. I almost had a gar in there, but I didn't really want him, but I almost had him. Uh, I only got some needle nose pliers, so I didn't have anything to, he got some teeth, you know, I didn't want to deal with that, but, uh, uh, and then I, I had something good in there, but, but I lost him too. I don't know what happened, but, uh, anyhow, we had a good time, got to enjoy the kayak a little bit. I hope y'all had fun watching. Hope it wasn't too boring of a video. I know, uh, it was hard for me to concentrate on what I was saying because I was focused on fishing, but, uh, I had a great time and, uh. Like I said, uh, I'm so glad I got to bring y'all along with me. And it's just some little quick video, you know. Uh, got out of work and just uh, went home and got the kayak and put it in the back of the truck and went to the went to the river. So uh, uh, hopefully we can catch some fish on the next one. But uh, anyhow, I hope y'all had a great time watching. And uh, y'all have a great week. Stay safe out there. And I will see you on the next little adventure we go on. Appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you.